Sylvia has been preparing Justin for the practice session since he was a toddler. Focus, aptitude, and character strengthening were always incorporated into Justin's daily routine. As an analyst herself, Sylvia understands the need for these continual assessments. She knows that to do the assessments well will ensure that Justin's future and growth path will be well planned. I know he'll be all right. It's just this character and logical mapping spikes I've been detecting. I hope they'll be able to help. The three of them continue their walk down the long corridor with a hollow ceiling that amplifies the outside and creates natural lighting within the corridors. The steel-like wall seems to breathe as organomembranes that coat the walls are meant to ensure breathable indoor environment made the walk pleasant. Before long, they arrived at the opening of one of the many domes that are linked by these corridors and are the focal point of most of the activities within the hub. As they stepped into the dome, the entire ceiling just exploded and disappeared. They were outdoors, but indoors. The entire space was washed with soft natural lighting. Justin, Sylvia and Fatima felt breathless as the grandeur of the dome affected their senses. I cannot get enough of this feeling, Gash Fatima. Wonderful and alive. Sylvia and Justin nodded and smiled in the moment. I think we have been assigned to field D, level 8. And I think this elevator will take us up. The ride up was smooth and the elevator made note of its occupants to ensure that the correct speed and environmental sensory will be created on the way back after the short stay. I hope the ride was pleasant for you. Have a good day, Justin. Justin giggled as he tugged his mother's sleeves. They continued a short walk into an enclosure that looked like an open field with bright natural lighting. A smooth breeze welcomed them. It was literally an open field with the sights and smells thrown in. In the distance, a lone figure can be seen sitting in a plush and comfortable looking chair. He gets up and waves to the three of them to make their way to him. He gesticulates to show where they should settle when they reach him. Curious enough, it was a blanket laid on the field that looked like those centuries old practice of eating out in a picnic. The three of them made their way to the blanket and made themselves comfortable. I am sir, but you can call me Bob. He paused, reached for his command pad, and continued. Shall we begin? Please make yourselves comfortable. This won't take long. Help yourselves to the food and refreshments. Now then, Sylvia, we have your output processed. Are you ready for your evaluation? The senior evaluator, Bob Sear, was always known to be pleasant. He was one of the better evaluators that used his friendly demeanor to probe his evaluees without much discomfort. Sylvia, surprised that she was the focus of attention instead of Justin, took a while to compose herself. Evaluation? I thought this session was for Justin. Bob Shear drew a long, slow breath. He was reminded by his professors to contain his personal emotional response in the presence of his evaluees. Unfortunately for Bob Shear, Today has been a long day, due in part to the numerous occasions where he had to respond to similar questions. Today was five. He smiles, and in a reassuring voice, using carefully chosen words designed to allay evaluate anxiety, in this case, Silvius. Of course it is. The session is meant for just, but to fully optimize the analysis, all environmental input must be reviewed. In this instance, that would be you. Your well-being is fundamentally a prerequisite to a balanced outcome for Justin. Hence, my question. He slowly begins to smile. 